What can I say about homecoming in the mecca of black excellence? Well, the parade had King T'Challa and Killmonger together, swerving in charges. The food was incredible, authentic, and made with that good HBCU love. And we ain't even need Destiny's Child to have the HBCU tailgate toward jumping, jumping. It was a party on campus, but the vibe on the field was all business. Howard came into their homecoming with news about players transferring and all types of other drama surrounding their football team. But the guys who suited up in Bison Blue didn't seem to care about none of that noise. They were focused and ready to put on for HU. HU! 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 Norfolk State came to DC with the taste of a bad loss in their mouth and feeling some kind of way about being scheduled for homecoming. Let's go! And I got a feeling these two squads might not like each other too much. Cause as you can see here, these boys was out here ready for whatever. Kevin Johnson on the carry. Norfolk State opened things up with a Savage in the backfield, and yes, I mean Aaron Savage. He bullies his way for 37 yards, a run that leads to an easy four-yard score for Kevin Johnson, 7-0 Norfolk early in the first. Howard coming right back at the Spartans' neck, though. Dedrick Parsons up the gut with a juke, a shoulder dip, and a dive for a touchdown. That ties the game back up at seven. Very next drive, Juwan Carter, they call him Pootie. He takes it back to the schoolyard with Tyler Michelini. Pootie say, bruh, just go long. Ty was like, I got you, fam. They connected for 15 yards down to the four. A penalty backs him up 15, but that ain't no thing to the Spartans. They come back with a 19-yard score from Carter to DeKendall James, and the green and gold is back up 14-7. But it ain't no back down from the Bison on the next drive. Quentin Williams hits Damian Gillespie for a nice 25-yard reception. That sets up a Josiah Crute four-yard score, and the game's tied back up at 14. Pootie Carter turning into King Leonidas for the Spartans on the next drive. He hits Raquan Smith on the screen. The chef takes it 41 yards down to the 37. Then, Carter getting it in with his legs. He makes a strong cut, shakes off a jersey tug, takes it 19 yards, and they still can't take him to the ground. Then, he goes in his bag of tricks. You think it's a pass left, but it's a run right. Wide open touchdown by Mr. Carter and Norfolk is back up 21-14. And yes, the trend will continue. Norfolk takes the lead, but Howard will tie it back up. You gotta ignore the push off cause they didn't call it. Quentin Williams, Kyle Anthony corner the end zone for six. Talk about a back and forth half 21-21 tie ball game once again. Norfolk State showing that there is no tip without a little tat. Under a minute left in the half, the boy Pootie dropping a dime on Justin Smith. He makes a great catch. Spartans win the first half back and forth, 28-21. Norfolk State up, going into halftime. Now, Howard had the homecoming halftime all to themselves, and they started out with some pomp and circumstances with the coronation of the Royal Court, but then it was show enough showtime as Howard's band put their whole leg in this halftime performance. Now the second half of this one wasn't back and forth or tit for tat. It was Norfolk State with the elbow off the top rope. Pootie Carter finds Justin Smith on the drag across the middle and the junior from Richmond does the rest. 65 yards, Smith's second score of the day, 35-21 Spartans. Let's go Carter to Smith one more again. This time for 37 yards, leading to a two-yard rushing touchdown for Jawan Carter. That makes it 42-21, and it's getting kind of ugly out here on homecoming in the third quarter. And it ain't getting no better in the fourth. Pooty Carter still out here dropping dead arms to his comrades. Here goes another one to Tyler McElhaney. This one for six, plus a nice flex to the school's media team. 
28 unanswered points from the Norfolk State offense, a second half shutout from the Spartan D, and behold, the green and gold heads back down south with a 49-21 win and a reminder that you might want to pick a different squad to schedule on homecoming. When you see everybody doing making plays in practice, you want to see that carry over to the game, and that's exactly what we did out here, executed and made plays. Just, just took it a little, you know what I mean? And they scheduled us for homecoming, but it is a regular game for us. It's definitely big to get our first win in the conference. Well, you know, uh, I'm glad. I'm excited we finally made some plays on offense. And, you know, we shut them out in the second half on defense, which is great. Uh, this team's been through a lot, and uh, we're very fortunate. Our kids are tough and resilient, and they stuck together and didn't listen to the outside noise. We're, we're very appreciative of our kids' effort and the hard work. Uh, it, it's been a fight, you know, for us as a staff to keep our guys together. Our guys believe in us. They believe in each other. And uh, we've got five more games to go, uh, you know, to try to have our first winning season here at Norfolk State.